I feel I'm down the bar I've been around a while I couldn't find a girl So I'ma stick to him Hey, what's up, Indian Nation? It's your boy, Nova Nation, and we are here with our Week 9 prep for the Sin City Star Raptors, coached by Mr. Pterodactyl, my good friend Pat, my 702 brother. But we are here, and we're going to get this team prep going. And actually, this week, as you see, there are no Pokemon there. So we're going to have a line team builder, a live team builder, not a lime team builder, a live team builder. And I have two of my really good friends here. We have Mr. Arcanite and Phantom Base, aka Tyler, aka Dad, aka the head horse. Actually, he's this cohort because J Specs is the head horse. I, I, I low-key build my team from lines, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so for all of you. I'm going to be the lime team builder from now on. All right, guys, for all of you that don't know the teams, uh, the Sin City Star Raptors, um, have Mega Alakazam, Tornadus Therian, Salamence Vaporeon, Magmortar Heracross, Superior, Jolteon, Sableye, Sandslash, and Kecleon. I'm trying to figure out why this man does not have a better record. This dude is, what, three and four? What the heck? Anyway, then my team we're rocking out with, if you don't know by now, you should know, but we have Mew, Thunderous Therian, Amoongus, Empoleon, Alamomola, Swellow, Mega Heracross, Klefki, Delphox, Garchomp, Girder. Now, Swellow put in nothing but the finest last week. Klefki got them spikes up, Empoleon got the rocks up, and we literally got a 3 0 swipe last week. Hold on, hold on. It was fantastic. I do. Oh, did you trade out Mega Ampro? Mm hmm. Uh, I didn't need it. That makes sense. Because Thunderous Therian. Torrenty, yeah. Um, Thunder Therian just, I mean, Torn T, yeah, that's useful to have it against. I'm sorry, Thunder T, sorry. Yeah, and Torn T is definitely useful to have it now, like, now, because, like, Knock Off, Heat Wave, but I feel like Thunder Therian can handle it just fine. Uh, I'm still getting to this full track now. Alright, if you didn't know, if you couldn't hear Arky, oh, I can turn off my desktop audio so that they can actually Dog, hear you. Don't, don't worry about it. So they can actually hear you guys? Um, let's just hope I don't have any notifications in the middle of this, so I'm sorry if there are notifications, guys. Um... Wait. Well, looking at his team, first and foremost, I look and see Torrenty, Salamence, and Mega Alakazam are literally the scariest threats on the team, but I can see myself... What's his fastest? Mega Alakazam, and then what's fast mm. after that? Salamence? Tornadus. Tornadus. It's base 121, I believe. Wow, that thing is fast? Salamence only base 100. Salamence is base 100. Uh, I like your little uh, team tag. Mega Zam is what, base 145? Yeah. I feel like Mega Zam, that, those are his three fastest mons. Oh, Jolteon. Yo, that's the Jolteon's fast. 130, yeah. All right, it's so bad. what I see right now is he has a pretty speedy team, and he has a Bolt Absorb mon as well, so I can't spam Thunderbolt. Um, and a Water Absorb mon. Did you say he had Vaporeon? He does have Vaporeon, which is a Water Absorb, but I mean, what am I really using? Oh, I have two Water types, I guess, but like, it's not that serious. I don't know if I'm even yeah. going to bring one of them, because what does it hit? Sand Slash? Magmortar? I mean, he has to bring Sand Slash. That's his only hazard removal, unless he brings Salamence with Defog. You have a Ghost on your team? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> well, then he's gonna be getting rid of your rocks all day long. Uh, he doesn't have. I do not have a Ghost, That's but um... I do have a Garchomp. That's true. Ooh. Uh, I feel like Garchomp, a Scarf Chomp, can actually put in work. Scarf Chomp does sound nice here. Um, Scarf Chomp. The only issue is you're gonna want to run Stone Edge on like... it, and we all know what happens with Stone Edge. I like it. Yeah. <clears throat> I like, other than Peonia Superior, I like especially defensive Belingus. That doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Uh, Wait, you have Aloe on your team, right? Yeah. Bring an Assault Vest Mirror Code Aloe. Yeah. For they point by Jolteon. Okay, for Jolteon, for Mega Zam, for Tornadus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I know, I know, I can live an Energy Ball with the Soul Vest. I've capped it. Mm -hmm. I know that much. God, what are you doing? So you can, you, know you, can two right? you can live two specs volts. God, you're literally in like the video with your shirt off. You do realize that, right? Wait, <laughs> what? Put a shirt on at least, little man. You want to help me team build? You don't want to help me team build? Oh well. What? At least put your shirt on. Get put a shirt on. on? Yeah, I'm putting I'm putting Pokemon to beat my friend Pat. You remember my friend Pat? <laughs> Came to the house. Yeah. What are you gonna do, guys? Siblings, right? Okay, let me pull up damage calcs while I'm here. Yeah. Uh, let me look at. I know From... I know I can live an Energy Ball, but I don't know about a Choice Specs Jolteon, which is really. You common. can live a Choice Specs Jolteon Thunderbolt. I are you sure? One hundred percent. You can live a Choice Specs Bolt Switch from a 
or sorry, a short spec thunderbolt from a heliolisk that's only two base points high, lower than than that. Yo, you should be numlock. Fine. Delete, delete, delete. Five zero. Thank you. Okay, Alamomola. I know I ran Alamomola with an assault fest the other week. It was really cool. So yeah, run max HP, max spadev. Fifty max HP, max spadev. Um, fun fact. Fun fact. At level 50, Jolteon has a chance to Oko me with Thunderbolt, even with the Assault Vest. Oh, I am not a calm nature. There you go. It, it is, nature. he still has a chance to give. No, we're not, we, we have to use our team that we have, guy. Right. So, like, I have, for example, I have, um... You said a Specs Jolteon, right? Yeah, Choice Specs, Timid. That's Timid, not even Modest. 86 to 101%, and that's calm nature... Uh, max yeah. HP, max special defense. So that's what, a 9% chance to, to Oko you? 12.5% chance to Oko. I mean, that's not a great not chance, a but, odd, but at the same time, my, my luck with now. rolls this this season haven't been the best. Well, at least... Me about it. <laughs> me, my rolls have been good. Like, I've been getting decent rolls, but when people hit me with rolls, it's like 9 times out of 10 when I don't need them to get a max roll, they get a max roll. I got a question. Tell me about it. Yeah. What's Other up? than Sandflash, what does this switch into a physical move? Physical Mew? Wait, what? Physical Mew, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> this man. Whose Don't... man's is this? Physical Mew, what, with sub bulk up? I mean, it gets set... trained points. Bring out setup, run Choice Band. Yeah. Choice Band Mew? Yeah. What are these shenanigans? Choice Band yeah. Mew? He has no boy. He what, no with knockoff? Hold yeah, on, hold on, hold on. Or... I'm putting this in. Hold on, hold on. Choice of Band with knockoff. Obviously. Uh, knockoff? Sucker punch. punch? Hold on, timeout. Um, if I'm running knockoff, I'm not running sucker punch. Well, well I mean... Oh, for the Zam, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of needed now that I look at it. Okay, so sucker punch, knockoff. And if I'm choice banded, yo, I have to run a calc. I'm running a calc right now. I am putting this in. I want to see this. Let me see how much an actual blank set, uh, level 50, I'm going to run. I'm obviously going to run max attack, max speed. Should I run adamant or jolly nature? I'm gonna calculate with Jolly, because I feel like that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, with a choice, speed, band, uh, knockoff, and sucker punch. Why does sucker punch do 61 to 72 right now to a Jolteon? Because that's ridiculous. You know what really makes me angry though is that a a base 165 attack drain punch from a Mega Glade cannot Oko. My uh, lord! Mega Zam takes 123 to 140. Yo, I don't even think I need the choice band. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. To kill. Yeah, I'm talking about I everything mean, else. without rocks. So, uh. Yeah, Thunderous might, or Tornadus might need a little bit extra convincing. Choice band. All right, let me look. Let me look. Tornadus. What would you run to hit the Tornadus? Well, what else is on his team that shares a weakness with Tornadus? Uh, it's a flying type. Salamence, I guess ice. ice punch. Um, thunder Punch for Vaporeon. Um, ice Punch for Superior. Ice Punch for Sand Slash. Ice, ice Punch, punch for Salamence. Um, ice, punch I, I, ice type moves. I see Ice Punch and then Avalanche, but I'm not running Avalanche, obviously. I feel like... Run, I just feel like a punch. special... No, because Ice Beam's not going to hit as hard with Choice Specs. I mean, I could run a Calm... I can pull an Aki and run a Calm Mind set. <laughs> mm. He swept me with that in week one of the ITL. Oh, it's call mine That's... leftovers. It's call mine sub leftovers. I'll make a bulkier set. And then all of his mons are special attacking anyway, so they won't be able to break my sub la later in the game. Like a good chunk of his mons. The only mod I would have to worry about is Heracross. Clicking Megahorn. Scarf Heracross is a thing. Be careful. Scarf right. Moxie Heracross oh, is dangerous. I do, but clicking so Megahorn. Salary. And even if I click. <clears throat> Salad berry. Even if I click, salad berry. yo, that berry. thing's lit. Yo, we ran that. It was cool. I, I have to upload that live still. It I works, might go up the day that with, this goes it up. It works better with belly drum on. If you had a snore, like, oh my gosh. Yo, should I run belly drum Mew? Doesn't Mew get belly drum? No. You sure? I'm almost. Gosh darn it. Needed. I mean, choice band isn't a bad idea. I like it. Oh, guys, fun fact. I'm just letting you know right now. I'm wearing my head phones not my headset because it's more comfortable when i team build to wear my headphones and i always yeah. wear my headphones while i team build uh, why is they so sorry about people? that um vaporeon just i'm looking at his team and i really see 
I have Thunderbolt locked it up. I just don't know where to start. Like, Mew is good. I like Mew. I like Mew, period, this matchup. But more of an attacking Mew, obviously, this week. I like it. Dude, a bolded, choice banded Mew with Thunder Punch does at least 50% to pay for on this max defense with Bold Nature. Uh, wait, max attack? Am I max attack Jolly? Did you count uh, max attack Jolly on Mew? If it's Jolly, you do 45 to 53%. That's not bad. It's really not. Punch. What's his hazard removal? Salamence with Defog, which no one does. Uh, no, yeah, they do. Bulky, bulky Salamence is scary, dude. Yeah, but if I run Ice Punch, if I run Ice Punch with this, I can see him running a Yachi Salamence. But, um, that is a thing. Oh That's my thing. lord! Yo, why does Ice Punch do 86 to 102 to a Torn T? Because Torn T's only got like base 80 defense. Yo, sit down! Mew, sit, relax. It's okay. That's choice banded max attack. Yo, that's crazy. That's lit. Salamence. That's, that's that's gonna be running through his team. Yo, I should Play run the game. choice ban. I should run the choice ban. Mm -hmm. I I I I'd speed tie with a regular Salamence, and I Oko with Ice Punch. Even if he if he has the Yachi, I don't. But if he does, now here's my here's my question. What are you gonna? How are you gonna deal with the the speedier mons than you? Things like Mega Alakazam. That thing runs Shadow Ball. It's still gonna speed you. Still gonna yeah, that's gonna run speed. me. That's gonna kill me, 100%. Um, well, I think the Choice Banded Mew is a good idea. Um, it can actually, actually clean up late game with Shadow, Shadow, Shadow Ball. Doesn't Oko okay Mew. But again, Sucker Punch. He's not gonna run a non-attacking move. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sub maybe, but even then, I can click not. I mean, that, that's so kills. situation. That's so situational because he knows he outspeeds and kills me from a certain range. So he's probably uh, it'll be so situational. We'll have to see it in the battle. But I think Ice Punch is definitely the go-to move because it 100% oh, yeah. the Salamence is way too threatening for that me not to run it. And I speed tie with the Salamence if he's max speed. And if he's not, that thing is lights out unless he has a Yachi. Now for the speedier Mons, my fastest Pokemon on my team is 100% Sowello, I think. What is it? 125, yeah, that's my fastest Pokemon. Yeah, that's your fastest mod. Um, Swellow actually kind of puts in work, if I really look at it. Let me look again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold Jolteon. On. Um, I can run a special Jolteon with Boom, or special Boom Bursting Swellow, like I did last week. <laughs> hmm. And that with Air Slash. Oh, that special is actually, physical's better this week. Yeah. But don't. You run a Quick Attack Swellow. Oh my gosh, yeah, that would put in a lot of work, actually. Um, Facade, uh, Flame Orb, Facade, Quick Attack, yeah. Gut Set. You can grab, yeah, Smash Bros is in there, look, man. Um, you can't play Omega, or er, Alpha Sapphire, but you can play Smash Bros. Mario Kart's in there, too, if you want to play that, too. It's in the top row. Sorry, guys. Um, no, you're good. I mean, Swellow kind of puts in work, but that's the fastest mod I have on my team, and it's still not faster than his fastest mod in Mega Alakazam and Jolteon. So, if I really look at his team, I feel like... Oh, well, man. his team switches into a, to a, to a guts-boosted facade. Um, nothing, but what if he has Mega Alakazam, I'm dead. If, if he's out on Mega Alakazam, I'm dead. If he's out on Jolteon, I'm dead. I'm not running Choice Scarfed, so... No, I was saying guts-boosted, bring Flame Orb. Right, but I'm saying if he if I'm out on Mega Alakazam, I'm dead. There's no way RP, I'm living how ahead. How much does a how much does a facade or a, a burn boosted quick attack do? Oh, I didn't even think oh, of quick attack. Why didn't I not think of quick attack? Mega I'm Alakazam. sorry. I apologize. I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at right now Mega Alakazam. It does. It does. Forty-one to forty-nine percent. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's from Jolly Swallow. That's Jolly. If I were to run Adamant, it'd be 46 to 55. Facade though. kills. But Facade Bananas. murders its existence. Facade murders it, yeah. It Facade, Brave Bird, you turn. Actually, I know everything nothing. kills it by quick attack, but you can yeah. kill Brave Bird. But if I whittle attack. it down, if he's not in on the Mega I'm telling you, I feel like Hazard stacking this week looks so nice again. Empoleon and Klefki, that core has been so helpful for me these last four weeks. Literally, I've been sitting here in Hazard stacking teams. Bring, bring a Magnet Rise Klefki. I like Klefki. Why? If you can, if you can get a Sand Slash? On the, huh? Hmm? Yeah. Tyler for Sand Slash? Magnet Rise for Sand Slash? I mean, Klefki looks nice here anyway. 100% looks nice here. Yeah. I say Leftovers. Yeah, or, 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 
Or, or, you an, or, seal? or, 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 actually I'm a boat, I have a lot of oars. Um, I could run a, uh, fun fact, Mega Alexam cannot touch Klefki unless it's carrying Hidden Power Fire or Ground. Which still does 41 to 50%. I'm gonna I'm be ballsy and tell you to bring Light Screen on Klefki. I was actually gonna say Light Screen? Alright, uh, light screen and the double screens with spikes, no, just no attacking moves this week. Spikes and thunder wave. What does his team get taunt? Uh, Torn Sableye. Tornadoes. No, say, oh gosh. Bring, I forgot he has Sableye. Bring a magic, bring a magic coat. Does Klefki get magic coat? Uh, it, does, yeah, it does, indeed, 100%. Bring it. Why? Because Sableye can it taunt. Back to taunt. And then you for, if I can taunt and say, well, I can't taunt you. And then you can set up spikes and screens all you want. And say, well, I can't touch you. Well, it, what are the chances? He hasn't brought Sable Eye all season. What are the chances yeah, he brings it now? He won't bring it now. <laughs> what are the chances I'll, he brings it now? I like it because he can definitely. Not actually, no. He can burn the Guard Chomp, but that's really what he would bring it for. In reality, and Guard Chomp is my kills leader, so that makes sense. So, yeah, he's going to want to bring Sable Eye. He may bring Sable Eye just to burn Guard Chomp. Um. I could also see him bringing a, um, an HPI's Jolteon. HPI's Jolteon makes sense. 100%. It outspeeds. I'm looking at Scarfed, but if he Scarfed Jolteon, that would be so crazy. I've run Scarfed what Jolteon I, once. What I could see him either bringing Specs Jolteon or Air Balloon Jolteon. What if I were to bring, but then an Outrage. I mean, what if I, I need something, I, I want to set up 100% with Garchomp and Sweep, because... Garchomp low-key murders his existence. If you really look what? at it, Garchomp murders his team's existence. I get behind a what sub, is... I set up a Swords Dance, Outrage, and um, Earthquake, obliterate his team, but he has speed. Plus two already. I'm pretty sure uh, Outrage Superior still- outspeeds Garchomp, and if he goes for Dragon Pulse, it plus two to murder you. Uh, are you sure he outspeeds me? Mm -hmm. One base 113. Frick, I hate you, Superior, so much. Uh, what about- I started memorizing my speed tiers, so. Uh, I'm gonna go OU Special Super Superior. Uh, at plus two. Oh, this is a tank chomp. Oh, that's no special defense invested. So that doesn't matter. Oh, that's HP invested. I'm not investing in HP. Guard chomp, offensive, OU Swords Dance. Yep, sub dance. That's what I've run before. Um, not Salic Berry, though. I usually run Lone Berry. That'd be crazy. Salic Berry? My goodness. At plus two special attack. I actually still live a Dragon Pulse. From Timid or Modest Superior? That's Timid. Because Superior still outspeeds you at uh, Modest, I think. No, it does not. It doesn't outspeed you at Modest? No. What is it, by like a couple points? Uh, like four, yeah, I outspeed it. At max speed Jolly, I have to run max speed Jolly. But, I would yeah. have to get to plus two at that point, and Outrage would murder its existence. Yeah. And Outrage would also murder everyone else's existence. But he has a lot of things to outspeed. That's why I'm thinking Scarf Chomp may be better. Scarf Chomp is a scary option. That would be a really good option. For uh, he is such a fast team. My team, my fastest mon is a freaking Swellow. <laughs> he still has though, things wait, that outspeed wait, wait, my Swellow. Whatever. Whatever. Why don't you bring an Agility Nasty Plot Thunderous? Double Dance Thunderous. Hmm. Because mm. if, he, if he's Choice Scarf with... That's like Jolteon. my favorite sprite if you, bait for out, if you bait out the Thunderbolt, you get a free switch in the Thunderous. I have to but what 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 takes a Thunderbolt on my team? Like what actually literally like who gets hit by Thunderbolt? Swellow? Alamola and Polka? There's a lot of things I get hit by Thunderbolt on my team. Yeah. Um I don't know guys. I have such a freaking like crazy Okay, well, um I like yeah, Klefki with the screens. I think mm -hmm. Reflect actually is unnecessary this week. He does have a lot of special hitters, but one Most thing to be aware of is physical tornado theorian. Uh, physical moves, yeah, but his physical moves are kind of bare, bearing knockoff. That's all he can hit me with, really. And knockoff. Superpower. Superpower on Klefki, though. Oh wait, what? I'm talking about on Klefki. I was talking about Tornadus. Tornadus, sorry. I'm talking about yeah, Klefki v Tornadus. Klefki hey, v Tornadus. The thing is Heat Wave. <laughs> yeah, but if I have a, what's it called? Tornado, a screen up. Yeah, you should be fine. Should be 100%. Hey, this okay. Run an Akaberry. <laughs> I'm about to bounce um, out, but I'm the one hosting the fall. Uh, are you?
Are you sure? Yeah, because I'm the one that called you. Oh, frick, fam. All right, let me hang up, and I'll call you right back, Tyler. All right. See All, right. All right, peace out, Arky. As we continue this journey in this live team builder, we are 20 minutes deep with one Pokemon set. All right, just walking in my room. I'm recording. Let me see what. I don't know what I. Why are you getting mad at me? Oh my gosh, I swear. Sorry about that, guys. I did nothing wrong. I really didn't. I don't know why she, we have to go through the boxes that she put in the back in the freaking thing. But you know what? It's okay. Heat wave after a light screen is up on my side does 31 to 36 percent. Hmm. And I get a free. That's still a lot of damage. It is, but it's enough to the point where I can get two layers of spikes up. Bring safeguard, Clefki. <laughs> Why did I bring safeguard? No burns. I mean, I could care less about the burn. The burn, even with I the know. burn, I still get two layers of spikes up. I can, I, run, I can low key run switcheroo with light clay. That literally gives him nothing, and I get a light screen for free, <laughs> and then switcheroo it onto something like Torn Tea. That'd be funny as crap. But I'm not here for lols. I am. <laughs> I'm here to win. No, I'm here to, I'm to... literally trying to take a championship this season. Literally, I tweeted out before we went. I was like, guys, I'm taking a championship this year. I'm seven and one right now. So, yeah, I'm in it to I, win. I it don't right understand now. that. I'm in it to I don't win. Understand it right that. Now. That's how I felt going into the ABA. <laughs> I'm in it to win it. Yeah, well, hacks is a my, thing, so my record in the ABA was ridiculous. It was great. Oh, anyway, this um, team. I'm looking at light screen spikes thunder wave. Light screen spikes thunder wave is for sure coming this week. I'm either thinking magnet rise, um, play rough. What does play rough hit or on? Or foul play. Play rough, it's just there for stab, literally. It hits hair cross. Foul play would be good. Um, I'm just thinking like foul play on Mega Zam. Is it really gonna do a lot? Kai, it's what super did I just effective. Say? My dude, I'm recording. Remember? It's super effective, so that's automatically one thing. Foul um, play. What base what base attack is it? Clefki's base eighty. Or Mega Alexam, it doesn't matter what I am. Mega right? Zam is base eighty? Mega Zam is base fifty, I'm sorry. Trash. Wow. Okay. Forty yeah, that's not worth forty one to forty nine, but on a Salamence. That I really plus, or, Oh plus get, I gotta remember Salamence gets a fire blast. <laughs> but with a screen up that does nothing. Mm -hmm. Why does foul play only do 40 to 47 and he's base 135? That doesn't make sense in my head. Intimidate. Planet without intimidate changes ability to moxie on it. Are you eating pizza right now? I am in fact eating pizza. I can tell. I can hear you like eating. Smack in my face. I know. Even without that, it doesn't matter. The ability doesn't change the fact that he has a high attack stat. I don't understand why that doesn't do a lot. At plus one, it only does 459 to 70. That doesn't make sense in my head. I don't know. Because he's not a plus nature, if he was adamant, it would do 64 to 76. I'm just so mm -hmm. confused. The higher the, the higher the number. The higher I'm the just attack so stat. confused. Like, Because I know foul play would like murder. It murders Pokemon's existence. Like, it murdered Omega Pincers' existence. Omega mm -hmm. Pincers'. Does the defense play a factor? Yes. It does. Okay, so he has a pretty decent defense stat. That's why. Mm -hmm. Um, I like Chris I like my Mew here. Obviously, knockoff, sucker punch, ice punch. We need to figure out another move for you. Um, obviously, you're running max. And I fast band. That is a set. Why is that a set? Why is that even a smoke because on set? It's Mew. You can uh, do anything. Uh, Jingly keys. I like foul play, but it doesn't do as much work as I want it to. Um, it's not a two co on anything. Um, you should bring Toxic and Thunder Wave. <laughs> uh, for what? Torn? I want to bring something. For back. Jolteon? Why would I Toxic a Thund Jolteon? Volt Absorb. You can't Thunder Wave it. Yeah, but, I mean, Jolteon's frail as is. Why would I Toxic it? Why not? <laughs> I don't know. There are other things you can probably deal with it. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. I would say Magic Coat. Magic Coat for what? Keep him, getting his, keep him freaking his own rocks up. Keep him from Thunder Waving you. Keep him from taunting you. You know, okay, so many things. Yeah, he won't, he won't expect that. So I say Magic Guard is actually a good play. 
magic or magic, magic code, code would be nice. Out. And magic plus you got plus priority. Plus you got prankster, so it makes it even more plus priority. Um, okay. Um, what spread do you suggest? Because I think I sh I'm thinking I should run a specially offensive one. Because I think I calc it without being specially offensive against tornadoes. So if I had even a um, little special defense investment, I'd be fine. I'm not running any attacking moves, so I don't need any attack investment. Yeah, run, run, a, run a mixed defense set. So run max spadef, but then run about 188 in defense, and then just kind of calc it and see what kind of physical moves so can do to you. So I'm obviously running max HP. Actually, what's his base HP stat? 57. Okay, like I said 57. Yeah. It's low. Um, I say run max HP. Actually, run 248, so we have that odd HP first off. 244. 248 makes it odd. 244 also makes it odd. Okay. You're level 50, right? Yeah, you're right. My bad. I'm sorry. Hold yeah, on one second. One second. Um, okay, um, yeah, 244, you're right, I'm sorry, I apologize, I learned from the legends, my, himself, um, can get you an extra point special, else to... base special defense is, I mean, if I wanted to completely split it in half, I would run 132, 132, mm, not worth it, you might want a little bit more, no, but if you're gonna set up a light screen, I would go ahead and put a little bit more physical defense, um, I also have to make sure that I can, uh, withstand a heat wave like more heat waves so if i get a light screen up with the heat waves i want it to be mm -hmm. below maybe 25 percent less than 50 percent mm. you might be running max special defense then yeah max special defense makes it 23 28 that's i'm not even i haven't even added a special defense raising nature i'm sorry i can run like calm mm -hmm. if i wanted to uh that would probably be better 21 to 66 i want to get to below 30 percent yeah Make sure so, it's below, so I can run actually a little less invested than I want or than I need to. Mm -hmm. So, 128 actually is the ideal position. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little more actually. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. 168 is the ideal position. Like so that gives you another like 80. 96 to put in. 96 to put into divisions. How do, that sounds good. That sounds perfect to me. Uh, 140, 140, 143. Uh, no, that's 96. I just don't know what physical, like, Salamence and Earthquake is all I think of. Mm-hmm. If you're not bringing a Magnet Rise, you're going to want to have that physical defense put in there. Just Dance 50 with Earthquake. Uh, earthquake does 69 to 82%. Ooh, that's... You live, which is good, but it's painful. Uh, and that doesn't really bother me because I can get a T-Wave off on it. Mm-hmm. My goal is to slow his whole team down with Jingli Keys, and then continue on with that. Alright, so there we have two spreads done. Two done. Two down, four to go. Now, mm -hmm. um, I kind of want to get rocks up, and I have three potential rock setters. Mew is out of the picture because we of how we're running our Mew this week. Um, oh, there's yeah. Empoleon, there is also Garchomp, but I don't know about... I need I need something for speed, obviously, right now. And Swellow and, and Thunder. Scarfchomp. I say Scarf Thundy. Scarf Thundy? Scarf Thundy with U-Turn. Because hmm. if you look at it, his whole team obviously gets bodied by... Um, I can run... Uh, gosh, can I pull up the right freaking team? HP Ice. Mm -hmm. I can run HP Ice, U-Turn, Thunderbolt, and... Thunderbolt... What? Thunderbolt hits his whole team really hard. Um, it only hits the superior. It doesn't hit the superior, the Jolteon, and Sandslash. So that's literally it. Everything else can get bodied by Thunderbolt. What? What doesn't take an H? What? What takes an HP Ice or is Salamence? What is? What about superior HP flying? and Sandslash? It literally covers everything. Need... Okay. Salamence, Got you. Per, uh, superior, and Sandslash. Everything else can. Oh, and Jolteon. I need something for Jolteon. But Jolteon's frail, so I mean it can. So Jolteon's frail. You can always go out to something else and deal with that. Me, you honestly could take on Jolteon. Um, I'm gonna run Choice Scarf Thunders. I run Choice Scarf Thunders all the time in this league, and it actually puts in a decent amount of work. Um, I say mm -hmm. Thunderbolt. Obviously, U-Turn is the right play because... Uh, Bolt Absorb. And his ground type. I feel like that's the better play. And then, um... <clears throat> I'm looking for some for Jolteon. What can I hit the Jolteon with? You could bring Sludge Wave. I don't know. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but I want to make sure I can hit other things as well. 
because like he switches into that. And it's superior really hard too. Uh, what's his name? Joel Tion. Yeah, superior get freaking rocked by it. Um, we do decent to Salamence too. Uh, Sorry, Salamence. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, Salamence. I say that. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I just say it. <laughs> um, uh, it has a chance to poison too, which is a lot of fun. Sludge Wave is looks like the better play right now. It's, well, it's I, the hardest the, hitting. The only thing is saying. Only thing is saying slash. Well, you still have HPI. Just keep just hold on to that. Yeah, you'll be good for that part then. Because Sludge way, Wave two goes. Two goes Jolteon. Uh, uh, that's me being modest. Honestly, I think I can run ma. No, I can't. <laughs> Why can't you? Yeah, wait, I can. I'm a scarf. I'll outspeed Mega. Mega things. Zam doesn't matter. We outspeed a Salamence, and we we're not, gonna out, we're not gonna we're not gonna outspeed a Jolteon with a scarf anyway. Torn. Ah, freaking torn T. They won't scarf a torn tea, though. They won't. They'll put a salt vest on it. Um, what about Superior though? Superior is 113. You'll easily outspeed that. And the best thing you run on that is either Wide Lens or Life Orb. Yeah, but I could see scarf potential. Like, I'm not outspeeding a scarf Superior anyway, so I mean, he really can't. The worst thing it could do to you is HP Rock. If that. Maybe HP Ice. Like, that doesn't even do anything, really, to me. Because mm -hmm. um, it's not stat, obviously. But um, I'm looking at what he maxes out at with Superior. Or should I Mega Alexam maybe? Is what I Yeah, Mega Alexam to caps out of two sixteen, so you're gonna wanna So I need what's the magic number to get? Oh. Let me pull up my calculator because I need You're base one oh one, so you're gonna be capping out at two at one sixty eight. Which uh, means that you're gonna is. want Oh lord. I can't do that math yet. I'm getting there. Hold on, I'm, <laughs> I'm um... learning I'm memorizing all my speed tiers. Um... Yo, can this same person in this freaking dis in this PMC chat stop sending pictures. Thank you. Probably, probably Kyle. <laughs> it's not. It's Marco. Oh, head on, crow. This dude sent three in a row. Like, what? I don't care about the Timmy Turner episode where he stop. You sent five in a row. It's so sit down, dude. <laughs> five pictures is ridiculous. Five of them. He also just got beat by Johan in another league, so I can't really. That's say hilarious. That. Um. Um. Um, calculator, calculator. Where are my calculators? There it is. All right. So I need how much? How much does Glam max out at? Two sixteen. Are you hundred percent sure on that? It's base one forty five, right? Uh, yes. I'm gonna check. Just, Two sixteen. Ju just to just just to be safe. Level because fifty, right? I believe you, hundred percent. I just want to make sure. You know. The only reason I know is because Excel course the same speed. Defense minus actually maxes out at two twenty. What? It's base 150. Oh, it's it base 150 speed? I thought it was 145. Ah, wow. Okay. Alright, that is a lot faster than I thought. Still. 222. <laughs> Alrighty then. Alright, so 222. So. Uh, uh, so it's base, 140, it's base 175 special attack. I'm pretty sure I have to look modest. Isn't it? Oh. How much did I say max is out at? 222? Mm -hmm. I take it back. I don't have to run modest. You, you don't have to run, you no. have to run modest? Or you I can don't. run modest? I can run modest. Looking at it, hold on, I'm trying to like do the math right now. One, 147. You'd have to be 112 speed to outspeed it. Uh, no. Oh, no, need, sorry, that's, more more, that. that's a lie. That's a horrible lie. I um, need 149, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you easily outspeed that. That'll be... I'll put you what? Uh, modest 223.5 is what that is. Maybe I can go 148. Give myself a little more EVs. Mm. 148 times 1.12. Nope, no, go back one. 1.5. Ah, uh, never mind. 148 makes me speed tie, so I need one. So two, two, eight, two, sixteen. Two twenty-two. Twenty-two. So get 149, and then I can run on my max special attack modest, then put 34 left in HP. Hello, thunderous. All right, so the modest actually helps because now Sludge Wave mm -hmm. becomes a two-hit KO on Jolteon. That's good. That's that's what we needed it for. Yeah. Does he have any steel types on his team? No. So you can just spam Sludge Wave anyway. Like Kecleon. I mean Sand Slash. Sable Eye resists. Heracross resists. Heracross doesn't resist. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Bug resists poison. No, it does not. Yes, it poison does. Poison resists bug. Are you sure about that? 100%. Only reason I know. Why would I say Parasect is weak to poison. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I 
I thought bug resist does what poison resist bug, but not resist. the other way around. Poison? I don't know. Bug only it. resists. Um... Although they are super effective against psychic, dark, and grass types, bugs are unable to deal a lot of damage to many types. It's seven types of bug. Obviously poison. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna look at it. Look at it. Look at it. What are their resistances? I, I swear on, or maybe fighting type does, but I'm pretty sure. I know ghost type for sure does. Ghost type for sure does, yes. Uh, in generation six, uh, 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 it's neutral. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. You learn something every day. <laughs> you learn something every day. Uh, it still does not do enough. It does 43 to 51 on it. Um, yeah. This is with the choice band adamant, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah, hair But crosses. 61 to 73 percent, it takes from a thunderbolt, so it can get its full rocked. So. I was about to say, hair cross is surprisingly especially defensive, despite the fact that it dies to air cutter. <laughs> But yeah, it uh, it, it um, it puts him. Thunderous puts in a lot of work. I knew it was going mm -hmm. to. It hits Mega Zam really hard. I'm pretty sure it like nearly kills with a Thunderbolt. I was about to say, what about Dark Pulse? <laughs> it literally almost kills with. Yeah, but I'm running Thunderbolt U-turn. Yeah. U-turn would smack that thing so hard. Um, maybe I should actually keep some. I my phone went off just now. Maybe I should keep some attack on this one. Wait, 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 wait! Don't make him modest. Make him uh mild. Or rash. That's no, what I was mild. gonna say. Mild. Um, this is with a light oh. screen up. Uh, yeah. Forty-seven to fifty-six percent. That is modest. Hold on. Mild. I do fifty-two to, to sixty. I do fifty-two to sixty-three. That's crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's a two-eight KO on that Mega Alakazam with no attack adjustment. That's insane. That's kind of wild, and that's a U-turn. From it's got base one hundred five attack, so I can see how it'd be pretty dangerous. It's not stab. And I, I'm telling you, U-turn actually works well if there's. Mm -hmm. I like that he gets U-turn, because I can run it just in case. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, my team prep from last week just went up. Fun fact, you guys, I'm, now you know I'm recording this on a Saturday. Um, um, breaking the fourth wall. That's How long have we been? We have been recording for 36 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, that's so, why I ran U-turn against you with my Thunderous that one time. It made you. sense. Mm -hmm. Because you had Thunderous there, and I was like, I don't want to give him free Volt Absorb. Um, um, yeah, so U-turn, I think this is a set the easiest set thunderbolt u-turn mm -hmm. in power sludge wave but like mm -hmm. what is sludge wave it hits what superior for super effective i'm like i'm looking i'm looking at potential other moves like i can run dark pulse and hit Jolteon, yeah and then... but sludge wave is sludge wave is stronger it's got base it's base mm -hmm. 95 power whereas, whereas dark pulse is 80. when you wish zeus got stupid charge beam oh man. i can run i can always run focus blast <laughs> yeah focus miss <laughs> Knowing my luck. Ironically, that's called Focus Blast, but you miss it like 80% of the time. Anyway, okay, I'm, I'm set on that set. That's fine. That's a good set. All right, so we have Jingly Keys are... We have Clef Key Mew. We have Choice Band Mew. We have the Screen, screen Magic Code, Spikes, Thunder Waving, Leftovers, Holding, Jingly Keys. Should I run Light Clay? Or should I run Leftovers on it? Leftovers are more valuable. You need some more survivability. Yep. All right, and then Zeus 2.0 has the Scarf, Thunderbolt. You, you just, we just did that. So now we're mm -hmm. on to the next one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> I have yet to bring Mer Mega Heracross to a battle. <laughs> like, I've, I've well, never I mean, needed my Mega. It's ridiculous. He's got Torn T. Why would you... And I'm not bringing Mega Heracross this week. I'd say, you, you can't bring it this match. I kind of like Swellow. Swellow would be a nice revenge killer, honestly. It, it would come in and outspeed everything but the Mega Zam and the Jolteon. Mm -hmm. and, and honestly, honestly just even if he... Flame can't switch into a Jolteon. You can't switch in his Jolteon because it'll get obliterated. You can't switch in his Mega Zam because it'll get obliterated. You have to sack Wait. something. What if you brought a tough a flame orb tailwind swellow and started spamming facade? What about agility? I mean, you could use that to boost your entire team, not just... Yeah, but that's only like three turns. Whereas, I can get an agility up and sweep his whole team, basically. Basically? I mean, Jolteon says... Bye bye. It dies to a facade, doesn't I'm gonna, it? I'm gonna calc some Swellow stuff right now. Hold on. Guts Attacker. Like, Obviously, I outspeed adamant. everything. I outspeed you know, everything 100%. A plus two, yeah. Why adamant? Because you'll outspeed everything anyway. I'm gonna run a Flame Orb, not a Toxic Orb. Thank you very much. Uh, Flame Orb, Mega Zam gets demolished. Uh, let me look. Hold on. Can you name his team off in a row for me so I don't keep switching back and forth? Oh, I'm not looking at it. Give me just a Okay, saying. so Mega Zam, Torn T. Next up is Torn T. Let me look up that young doc real fast. Torrenty gets obliterated. Unless it has defensive vestment. Does he get obliterated by 
if it has defense investment, if it's an assault vest variant, like that Smogon set, 96 HP, max special, or max speed, a little special attack, which I don't think he's going to run max speed, honestly. He might run defense investments. Okay, hold on. That's without spec. Even with uh, max HP, 81 to 95, but he can't outcome me with one. Oh, he can, heal, he can kill me with Hurricane, never mind. He have to land a Hurricane first. Since he's wrapped, okay, you got... It literally Ron's almost dies. is different from the draft. Nothing. Everything that's in the, the Pokemon section, right there on his page, that's what his team is. What about the draft section? No, he doesn't. Get he doesn't have page. Muck. He doesn't have Muck, Drudagon, or Entei anymore. Okay. So what does he have instead of those? Uh, I actually have no clue. I think he traded Entei for Salamence. That makes sense. I can see that. Okay. Um, his team is Mega. Drudagon. Galaxam, Tornado Therian, Salamence, and then he has Vaporeon, Magmortar. Mm -hmm. Ah. I'm pretty sure you traded Drudagon for Magmortar. Yeah. Heracross. Superior. Jolteon, Sableye. Jolteon, Sableye. He got rid of Muck for Sandslash. Okay. That makes sense. I knew he got a spinner. I just can't remember what he drafted. And obviously, Megan, mm -hmm. uh, his Sandslash is only spinner. Um, but yeah, Swallow here with the Flame Orb. The only Pokemon that really can deal with Swallow... Sableye, but that's a brave standpoint, bird. ...would be Sandslash. I have to bring Roost. Maybe a Shadow Sneak and Kecleon? Facade. Maybe. But uh, you click Brave Bird and I think it's dead. He can't Shadow Sneak me because he's going to run Protein. And hmm? he can't Shadow Sneak me because he's going to run Protein. And Shadow Sneak is resistant. Or it's, it doesn't hit me. I'm a normal type. Yeah, but it'll change you to a Ghost type. It'll change it to a Ghost type and Facade won't hit it. Then I Brave Bird it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, you I Brave Bird it at that point. What I'm saying is you can't do that anyway. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. I'd have to bring... I think my set would be Roost, Facade... Brave Bird, Agility. Facade, Brave Bird, Agility, Agility Brave, Brave Bird, Facade just eats its main. I'm pretty alive. sure it eats it. Yeah, it just murders his whole team. Because, like, Heracross dies, obviously. Magmortar's gonna die. It's stab. Superior's gonna get obliterated. Sandslash. Uh, Sandslash actually has a chance to live some things. Hold on. Sandslash is the yeah. only other mod I'm concerned about. But what can it do to me in return? Stone Edge me? It can get Rock Slide against Stone Edge. Stone Edge is the worst thing. But Ooh, he's too slow. He's, he would have to... That's I mean, nope. Yeah, but if he's if at max HP. on his stone edge, he can't kill you, I don't think. I'm gonna look right now. NU Offensive Rapid Spin. Let's look at that. Uh, uh, with, what's it called? Uh, stone Edge. Stone Miss. Uh, he actually has a chance to Oko if he's max attack adamant. Yeah, if he's max attack adamant. If he's max attack no adamant, his that. HP actually has enough to live a facade. That's why I should bring Quick Attack. <sighs> but Quick Attack still... I mean, he can kill me, but Quick Attack doesn't kill him, you know? I feel like Brave Bird, Brave Bird, Facade, Agility, Roost. I'm so set on, sold on that set, because it's, like, perfect. Because it hits everything. The only thing, I mean, the only thing I would have to worry about is, okay, he sends in Sandslash. I do a massive amount of damage to it. And then I go in Revenge Kill with something else. I mean, if you... Yeah. Because it'll literally get down to the point where anything else will kill him. Like, mm -hmm. I'd have to literally, and he does, he has no form of recovery on the Sand Slash, so. But, no, and even if he, if he's not running attack investment, Stone Edge still has a chance to kill. And that's, that's not even saying with rocks. With rocks, I'm done. That's, that's sad. Swallow the spray of the duck. Yeah, I'm not running shiny, what am I doing? Female, I want a female. But I say max attack, adamant, mm -hmm. um, max speed. <laughs> Why would you need max speed if you have speed with thing with, with an agility up? Um. I don't know. What, what would you put the investments in? Max HP. HP. <laughs> no. Put max speed because you're going to want out speed even outside of the. Outside yeah, because if I don't get an agility up and I can just come in and click facade on something, GG. Mm -hmm. But I have to make sure I'm burned first. That's the problem. If you're gonna, but I feel you like. You can get your. I feel you like. Get the agility I, up, great. But yo, if, if I, I can get an agility sure the up. Yo, I can win this battle. Yo, but the Zam outspeeds me. And he could probably. No, that's what I'm saying is. Um, yeah. If you can't get, if you if you don't have the opportunity to get the agility, up, make sure that Mega Zam is dead. I feel like I can. I can set up on a Vaporeon, not Ice Beam. I can set up on. Vaporeon I can't is set up easy on set up fodder. Yeah, but Ice Beam. Sableye is set up fodder. Sableye is the setup because he can't Willow me. He can knock me. Ecleon too. He can knock me off maybe. Um, but that's not gonna You're... do enough. I can just click. Magmo I can click well, Brave Bird. I'm... Brave Bird literally, even without the Flame Orb, I'm pretty sure Brave Bird actually obliterates a Sableye. The best thing you can set up on would be Superior. Yeah, because he fear the Brave Bird too much. Because that's speed. 
and you have to swap. That and base 75 attack before any boost is trash. I have base 85 attack. No, I'm saying base 75 special attack from Superior is trash. Uh, Superior? That's before any boost. Superior doesn't want to take a break bird. Um, no, it doesn't. It's only got base 95 I defense. I'm looking at Sableye right now just to see you, you prankster. He can't burn me, obviously. Uh, Brave Bird actually does. Though. Brave Bird does 67 to 80 percent though. So that's enough. That's enough tattoo cut. If only you could be both guts and scrappy. I swear, yo, that would be the life. Because then you could just facade the save line and kill it. But I know. Um, I can run a choice ban. <laughs> <laughs> then you just want to bring return at that point. Oh, true. Yeah. Choice or band double re edge. Choice band to return. Oh my gosh. Choice band to return. If only Herb Swallow got Reckless. If Swallow got Reckless, it'd be, reckless or be a better Staraptor. Reckless or like Rockhead. Yo, if I got Rockhead, it'd be a way better Staraptor. It'd be OU for sure. The only problem is it doesn't get close combat like Staraptor does, so. Yeah, it doesn't get that coverage, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Urza's here. I just, okay, so now let me look at my weaknesses and analyze the threat to my team. How do I handle the Zam? All right, I have my agility up. I have Scarf, Thunderous, and Mew kills with a Sucker Punch. So we have that. Torn T, Thunderous just obliterates its existence. It, mm -hmm. can't really, it can't really touch me. It can knock off my Scarf. That's about it. Um, Salamence. All right, we have Ice Punch on Mew, which we outspeed. If uh, we you actually need a special time. attacker, um, you're right. I do need a special attacker. Um, um, uh, I mean, I have Zeus, but I need another one. So mm -hmm. <sighs> that's what scars on my team. I have Delphox. You have Delphox now? Yeah. What did you drop? Quagsire? Yeah. I have too many water types. Yeah. I have Delphox. I'm either thinking Delphox, I think my last two slots probably belong to Delphox, Garchomp, Delphox, Empoleon, Alamomola, and Amoongus. One of those three combos. And I feel like Delphox, Garchomp, or Delphox, Empoleon is probably better. Because Delphox actually puts in a lot of work if I Assault Vest it. You know it would be even more fun is if you slapped a scarf on it and then tricked it onto something. I actually, down. yeah, I'm gonna run that next. I ran that last week and I didn't even have a chance to use it because I swept with Swellow. So I'm gonna, run, I'm gonna run the Choice Scarf. Blaze ability. Even if you're. It'd still be good. Fire Blast hits hard as crap. Um, Hidden Power Ice. And or you can just bring him no item magician set and steal. Yeah, but he'll, see, of... he'll, see, he'll see that I don't have a magician or I don't have an item and that he'd be kind of freaking out about that. There's nothing he can do about it. <laughs> I, I just know that I feel like that would work, and even if he knocks off my item, I can steal an item. I can still run magician. Like why would I run? What I mean, Blaze isn't really crazy. I mean, Fire Blast. Well, if I get to good if, you get if I get to twenty five percent, yo, Fire Blast is obliterating lives. Mhm. Mm so Fire Blast, yeah, look, HP Ice. Who's best switch into Fire Blast is Vaporeon. All right, I have Grass Knot. I can run Grass Knot. Uh, energy Ball. Awesome. I can run Energy Ball. I think. Doesn't he get energy? It doesn't ball? get Energy Ball. Frick! I can run Grass Knot. Not, yeah, you can get grass now. Solar beam though. You're in dazzling gleam. For what? Sand Salem. Sableye. Sableye and Salem. Yeah. Oh gosh, the two biggest threats to Delphox. Um, but I have H power, I, HP ice for Salamence. I mean, would dazzling gleam do more? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. No, it would. but it'd definitely do more to Sableye. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Fire Blast obliterates that thing's existence. Probably. Literally running the same Dark Magician that I did last week. Why does HP Ice have a chance to not Oko? Because Salamence is as bulky as It's this. a 93.8% chance to Oko. That's me timid, though. I don't think I have to run timid, because I'm 104 speed. Delphox is my fastest Pokemon. I didn't know that. Delphox is not your fastest Pokemon. Yes, it is. You got Swellow. I forgot about Swellow. <laughs> Besides Swellow, Delphox is fast. I didn't realize how, like, I have a lot of, like, yeah. around 100 Pokemon. Like, I have Garchomp at 102, uh, okay. Thunderous at 101, Mew at 100, exactly. Delphox at 104. That's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. um, but I say, yeah, HP Ice, Fire Blast, Grass Knot. Fire Blast hits this whole team really hard. Um, nothing really wants to take a Fire Blast. Uh, Magmortar doesn't get Flash Fire, right? Magmortar. Flame Body and Vital Spirit. Nah, we're fine. Um, Aircross, Superior, Jolteon can get obliterated, Sandslash, 
ground doesn't resist fire, but no, but fire rock does. to ground. Yeah, but I mean, fire blood doesn't want to take a grass knot. Hmm. Doesn't want to take a grass knot though. I don't think I have to run max special or max speed. I can run more. I can pretty sure I'm, I can run modest. It's the same scenario as thunderous, right? Just outspeed the mega Alex Zam, right? Magic number is 149, right? Repeat that to me. Repeat everything you just said. Um, with the scarf, no, because I'm running trick. I should run max eight, uh, speed, shouldn't I? Because of trick. Because hmm. if I can steal the assault vest from not nah, scarfing the tornado's T is so scary. Um, scarfing of a Porion wouldn't be bad. Scarfing a yeah. Sableye wouldn't be bad. Scarfing a scarfing Sand Slash. A Sand Slash wouldn't be bad. Scarfing a Kecleon wouldn't be bad. <laughs> honestly, scarfing all of his passive mods would be great. Um, I just can't. I can. I can honestly scarf a Superior if I really wanted to. Because locking a superior into Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm would be ridiculous means though. Looks like a free switch to Swello. Zeus 2.0 can actually obliterate it with Sludge Wave because I'll add speed. Um, oh no, I won't with the scarf. I take it back. Mm -mm. Never mind. Uh, it's again situational. It's totally situational. I mean, um, if you had a Moongus there, it would easily eat up Leaf Storms. I'm looking at a Moongus. Um, I like this Dark Magician set, though. My Del Fox. Mm hmm. Why does Shiny Delphog Loki look like Dark Magician though? It does look like the Dark Magician. That's Alright, All right, um... Uh, Amoongus, I'm looking at Amoongus, Empoleon, Garchomp. Now, I want a Rock Setter. I feel like Rocks could be really important. Because if I get Rocks on that Salamence, and the Tornadus, that eliminates those... If you got a Scarf Tornado, a Scarf Thunderous, you don't need a Scarf Garchomp. You can set bring Bulky Tank Chomp. I feel like Bulky Tank Chomp actually works really well this week. Mm -hmm. And even so if I run, rock. yeah, Garchomp, I was looking, that's what I was looking at over Scarf. Because I have two Scarfs yeah. already, I don't need another one. So, Rocky Helmet? Yeah. Does he's he good. have enough physical attackers for that, or should I run leftovers? Let me look at his team real fast. Because he has Paracross. Oh, if he brings U-turn Tornadus, it's going to get punished. Even that's a good even idea. Even if it gives yeah. Regenerator. Rocky Helmet, um. Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin with Stealth Rock. I can run Dragon Tail. Yeah, that'd be really good, actually. Yeah, it's no fairies. Uh, Ray um, Lewis, level 50. Let me look. Oh, what else he's got? Mail. He's got a lot of special attackers. Good gosh. Yeah, like Stealth Rock, Physical Dragon attackers, Tail, Earth, Earthquake does enough. Or wait, should I get an Ice type move? Like, why would I? If he brings Foul Play Sableye, it's gonna do more damage to it than it will to you. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at Salamence. Should I run Outrage or Dragon Claw? Never mind. I have Dragon Tail. Um, I don't know. Cause like, yeah, I don't, Dragon I don't Tail run would be really good for a Scarf Moxie say, Scarf Moxie I don't have enough, because we can live, I'm pretty sure we can live any one hit. And even if he hits us, he'll probably kill himself. If he's Life Orb or something. If he's Life Orb, he's going to be doing a lot. I'll just be aware of a Draco Meteor versus a Dragon Claw or an Outrage. Right. Um, I'll be aware of that. I can. Re I know Special Salamence is a thing. Uh, versus a Tank Chomp? Why does no one in this league draft fairies? Uh... I only see one team so far with. Oh, no, there's two. Three. Four. Five. I have Klefki. Oh, you do have Klefki. Then you have Klefki. So that'll be like your main switch into. Hold on. To Mega Gardevoir is on the Munchlax. Never mind. I, I was looking at the teams around you. Diancy. Because uh, Nick doesn't have one. Uh, you're just looking at the people that you care about. <laughs> no, I'm, looking at people that I can, I'm just looking at people I can see right off the top of my head. Uh, um, Nick, Nick has, he has Cresselia. Pat doesn't have one. Yeah, I know Pat doesn't have one. I'm pretty sure Trev does, doesn't have one. Neither does Trev. Because <laughs> I was looking. Not... Oh, he... But he has a Steel type. Got... Oh, he has Gardevoir. I think he's got Aroma. Huh? Trev has a regular Gardevoir. Oh, I can't see that. Sorry, I'm looking at the draft page. Yeah, he, 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 he I'm pretty sure he added regular Gardevoir for Gothitelle. But anyway, yeah, besides point, hard. besides point, Garchomp, yeah. Dragon Tail, Stealth Rock. Why does Stealth Rock do forty to forty nine percent without attack investment to a regular Salamence with no defense investment, obviously? Like Dragon Claw, Dragon Tail, Dragon Tail because forty it's to like forty nine seventy power or base seventy power. It's like base yeah. sixty. It's base sixty. That's crazy. That's nuts. It's That's still crazy. Wild. That's that is wild. same power as HP Ice for HP. Is it, something really? What is it, impish nature, dude? Lowers my it's crazy. 
Alright, um, Salamence, uh, Draco Meteor obliterates my existence, but that's with no special defense investment. But what if I had no. special defense investment with the light screen up? Hello? No, the light screen up, you just eat yeah, Outrage murders days. my existence, so yeah, I'm not about that life. Salamence, I'm gonna, I'll just switch into Clefki every time. Yep, yeah, pretty much. And if you fire blast, fire blast, and if you fire blast, you know what, he can go ahead and fire blast, because it's, it's, it'll do enough, but it won't do en a lot, because I'm pretty sure. for fire blast, go switch out to Delphox or. I, that's just gonna be such a mind game right there. I don't even want to think about that. That's why you scout and Thunder right. Wave at first. Stealth Rock, Dragon Tail. Yeah, Thunder Waving it honestly would put me in a position where I think a Dragon Claw kills. Where I yeah. won't even. I don't even need speed investment for that. No, it puts his speed in one quarter. It'll. Uh, that's really... with that's with no attack investment. It does fifty four to sixty four. What if I had attack investment? Imagine. I say he's got wait. He's one nope. thirty four attack or something like that. One thirty. But huh? Dragon Claw doesn't kill. That doesn't matter. Still gonna do a crap ton. Garchomp isn't gonna be used for attacking this week. It's for eating his. Uh, okay, so I want to run Stealth Rock, Dragon Fail. I mean, what does Earthquake hit? Nothing. Jolteon. Jolteon. But, uh, Earthquake or Dragon? Not Earthquake over Dragon Claw on that thing. I think. Pretty sure Jolteon. No, you don't need Dragon Claw really, or Earthquake really, because. I mean, it, oh, it literally obliterates that. Thing. Dragon Earthquake literally obliterates it. That's the only thing it does damage to, though. Um, I mean, it still does a crap ton to Mega Zam. It does crap ton to Vape. It'll do a lot to Vaporeon. It'll do enough to Sableye. I feel like Sand Slash Kecleon. I feel like it'll do damage, so I feel like Earthquake just having the stab there. It'll be good damage, yeah. It'll kill Magmortar, just... too. Oh, and Magmortar? I didn't even think of that. Another Pokemon he hasn't brought yet. But yeah. Beware of Specs Magmortar. Uh, yeah, for sure. I know. I, I, I know. And it's, it's Thunderbolt. So. It, 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 it has power. I know. Now, what is the last move? So, Stealth Rock, Dragon Tail, Earthquake. What What would you run? What would you run? I mean, yo, imagine if you got Roost. Um, I feel like... Toxic? Ooh. That's not a terrible idea. Stealth that Rock, really Dragon Tail, Earthquake, like Toxic? Vaporeon, they can wall you. Yeah, but Ice Beam will obliterate my existence. Uh, why am yeah, I- why is it runs. telling me to run a max speed, max attack with Dragon Tail? That makes no sense. Cause it is dumb. Uh, so what would you run? Max HP? Max HP, yeah. Cause that gives me odd Probably HP. Hmm? Max HP gives me odd HP. Good. At level um, 50? Yeah. Yeah. You're good. Uh... Do I, I, do I, I don't think I need speed this week because we're just here to be hit. You're just gonna be, yeah, clicking hazards and hitting stuff that comes in. I feel like a 180 in defense and 76 in special defense is okay because I'm not living in Draco anyway. Yeah, it'll be fine. Make okay, it, 180 will make major. it so I live, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, outrage, I'm pretty sure, and then I can kill it or uh, knock it out with Dragon Tail. Or like mm -hmm. get it out of there with Dragon Tail. Alright! Ray Lewis is here. Ray Lewis is out of his normal role this week. Alright, so... We- Oh, crap. I need one more move on Mew. I'm running Knock Off, Sucker Punch, Ice Punch. Why not Thunder Punch? Thunder Punch? As well? Both? Should I run mm -hmm. Earthquake? <laughs> what do you need? Alright, I run Knock Off, Sucker Punch. Uh, knock Off is a must, only because it knocks off items and it makes sense. Um, yeah. Sucker Punch is obviously there for Zam. Um, if I lose my band, that'll honestly won't be the end of the world. Um, I'm thinking Drain Punch. I'm thinking Drain Punch for recovery purposes, but that doesn't really hit anything on his team for super effective damage. And you can just easily go into Save Line when he picks you out his choice. Right? I'm thinking Explosion just because YOLO Swag 98. <laughs> Banded Explosion. From a Mew. Once you're going to Save switch in. But... From a Mew, though. From a Mew. What? I mean, if only he. I mean... Why doesn't he. It doesn't get play rough, that would be dope as crap. That would be amazing. So that, I would say, please do, because then you could hit it, both Sableye and... I'm pretty sure it doesn't get play rough. I don't think it does. No, it does not. <sighs> it's dazzling. Mm-hmm. That's a totally fairy type move. It's the best thing it gets, fairy-wise. <sighs> Alright, um... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, thinking... I mean, I can run... I, I need switch priority. What about U-turn? That'd I'm be good. I'm banded. That'd, that'd be really good. U-turn, Ice Punch, Sucker Punch, Knock Off. Mm -hmm. Looks like a good set to me. U-turn hits... What? 
Superior, Mega Zam. Zam. Yo, I feel like that would Oko. Do you feel like that would Oko? Do a lot. Do you feel like that would Oko? Because I feel like it would Oko. Chalk it. Uh, max attack. Max speed. I'm jolly. Uh, ch I have choice band. Yep. Um, with U turn. At level 50. To Omega Zam. 107 to 126. Rip! <laughs> what? He is not switching in on me! Yo, yo, what is weak to psychic on his team? Hair cross. Yo, he's in on hair cross. Imagine this. He is in on hair cross and he doesn't have a scarf. He's switching to a. Zen Headbutt? Zen Headbutt is obviously Mega Zam or Torn T. He's gonna or take. Save some, or Save Alive. He's gonna take some decent damage from a U turn. U turn is great. Uh -huh. U-turn is gonna be great. U-turn knockoff sucks, but I can knock off and just murder something's item, honestly, and Zam will be, like, dead, so. <laughs> Pretty sure knockoff kills, too. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. Oh. It could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yep, it literally does exactly 100%. 100% 100 to 118. It does exactly 100% mid. That is crazy. Literally has just enough power to Oko. Doesn't knockoff have the same base power as? No, it's like five less. Never mind. It's base sixty-five. For some reason I thought it was and base then... seventy. I don't know. You turn to base seventy though. Sucker punch is base eighty, and then ice punch is seventy-five. Yo, I have mm. sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty base power. Things <laughs> that are going to get hurt from a choice band. Yo, choice Woo! band and Mew. I don't even know. Yo, if choice band and Mew puts in work this week, I will feel great. But I think that's it. I'm gonna go over quickly what. Hits. I mean, if there's something you see really quick, speak now, forever hold your peace. But I'm going to say knockoff, sucker punch, ice punch, U turn, jolly band, um, max stack on Chris Armiu, cleft keys here with leftovers, prankster, light screen, magic coat, spikes, thunder wave. Want to get the hazards up? Uh, his only hazard yep. removal, obviously, sand slash. Salamence puts in too much work on my team, obviously, to run defog on it this week, which I don't, I feel like that makes sense. Unless he builds with Trev, then he's probably going to run wish protect. <laughs> <laughs> Defog or something stupid like that, which then that eliminates such a big threat to me, um, if you really think about it. And then yeah, so max, almost max HP with 244, 168 in special Which defense. Protects Salem. <laughs> Yo, he ran that on battle spot and it was kind of lit. It put in a lot of work. I was surprised. Uh, 244 HP, 96 defense, 168 special defense. Uh, calm nature on Uh Then we have Zeus 2.0, Thunder Starian, Choice Guard, Bolt Absorb, Thunderbolt, U-Turn, Hidden Power Ice, and Sludge Wave. Uh, 34 in HP, 222 in speed, modest nature, 140 or max special attack. Uh, then we have Urza the Swallow, Flame Orb Guts, Facade, Brave Bird, Agility Roost, um, max attack. Go back, go back to Thunderous. Did you say 34 in HP? I did. That's why. Wow. That was what was left over. That's all that was left over. Yeah, I had to run 22 in speed to add speed. Um, should I go? Change it to 20. 20. And put what in? Put the 14 where? Wait, what? But the you last said 22 one. in speed, right? 222 in speed. 222. Two, make it 220. Make that 220? Yeah, because 222 is not a evenly divided by four. You're wasting two. You're wasting four EV somewhere. All right, then I'll put 36 in HP. All right. You see, yeah, 36 in HP or whatever you had it as, yeah. All right. Cool. There that's we why, that's no why we go over things, guys. That's why we go over things. Yeah. Then you have Swallow with Flame Orb. Guts, Facade, Brave Bird, Agility, Roost, uh, Max Attack, Max Speed, 4 in Special Defense. I don't know why there's 4 in Special Defense. It's just there. Um, I'm Adamant, not Jolly, because we have to speed everything anyway. Then we have Choice Scarf, Del Fox, the Dark Magician, Trick, Fire Blast, Hidden Power, Ice, Grass Knot, 252 in Special Attack, 252 Speed, 4 in Special Defense. Um, we, I'm actually going to put this 4 in HP, so that we have an odd number of HP for rocks, um, mm -hmm. just in case. Uh, we, I don't have a Defogger this week, so yeah. Rocks don't really hurt my team. Ah, oh, they really do though. Ah, oh, oh. oh, the worst thing. But is, who's his rock setter though? Sandslash. Sand Slash. Yeah. Okay. That thing's not even might not even get rocks up on me. Okay. That's why I have magic code on Klepki. True. Then we have Stealth Rock, Dragon Tailing, Earthquake, Toxic, Rough Skin, Rocky Helmet, Ray Lewis, the Garchomp, Rock and 252 HP, 180 Defense, and 76 in Special Defense. I just want Ray Lewis to get one kill this week so he can stay. In a decent amount for MVP this week. For MVP race. That's Yum. it. If you can get one earthquake kill, I will be happy. I'll be a happy person.
first. If he can just get it, if he can get a dragon, if he can get a dragon tail yeah, kill. I'm gonna laugh a, so hard. He can get a million stealth. He can get every stealth rock kill for all I care. He can just go get stealth rock kills. Stealth rock and toxic kills. That's all he needs to do. Is <laughs> okay, so that sounds like a good team. I think I'm ready for Pterodactyl. Go for it's gonna it. be a hard fought battle, but I'm pretty confident in the way I've been playing so far. So. Shout out to Arcanite and Phantom Base. Their links will be in the description below for this amazing hour-long team building okay. session. It was fun. I actually had a lot of fun recording this. That was a lot of fun. I like live team building. Tell me if you guys like this. If you don't like it, uh, I'll do a recap. I'm still going to do the live team builder because it's a lot of fun. I just like doing it. Um, if you guys want to see more of this, I know no one wants to watch an hour-long video, but still. Um, it's interesting to me. It, I yeah. wanted to do it. I saw Nappy do it. I was like, oh, that looks like fun to have your friend help you team build and record. So I did it and knocked it out. So we're going to, um, def I'm definitely going to go over my team, obviously, before I battle. So I remember everything. I'm going to do it like before the battle, before we get connected and everything. But I think that's it. Um, yep. We team built. We did everything we needed to do. Uh, this is my week nine battle for the Star Raptors. Uh, MPL week nine. I have brought Thunderous. I've, I've not brought one single Pokemon to every single week. So every one of your Pokemon has made it to at least one battle. No, Mega Heracross has never battled. That's the only Pokemon that hasn't battled yet. Rip. Girder actually is my second in, or third place in kills right now. Eh. He has like set six or seven. It's pretty funny. Oh, God. But with that, you guys, I'm definitely going to hop about it. He has five. I take it back. There's 11. There's 11 on uh, Garchomp. There's six on Thunders, and then there's five on Girder. With that, you guys, I'm going to hop about it. Thanks for watching this video. Um, make sure you hit that like button down below for us. Um, make sure, also, mention if you want more team builders. I don't understand if anybody, I can understand if you guys don't want it. I 100% I, I can understand if you don't want it. But, you know, go ahead and kill that like button anyway for the support. It, we really appreciate it. I definitely would love it. Arcanine's description, my phone went off just now. That's your number one rule of Pokétubing. Don't have your phone on while you record. <laughs> but, um, kill that like button down below for us if you are hyped for our battle that will be going up tomorrow. I upload all my battles at 9 p.m. Pacific, uh, so 12 p.m. Yeah. 12, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. EST. So, kill that button down for, below for us. I've said that like seven times now, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, we're almost at 200. We're at 171. I would really appreciate 200 subs. Uh, make sure you go subscribe to Phantom Base. He's doing a Emerald... What are you doing? Phantom Lock. Phantom, Phantom Lock. You're doing a Phantom Lock. An Emerald Phantom Lock. I'm pretty sure he's done that before. He canceled the series, and now he's bringing it back. And it actually is... Well, I actually lost the series. He lost it, so he's doing, he's doing the rematch. He's rematching it. Like, I just rematched Leaf Green. So... Have fun. I'm doing Sager Gold as well. So that'll uh, his link will be in the description below. Go check him out. He's a good guy. Also, uh, one of my good friends. You've seen him on the channel before, obviously. I'm gonna hop about here. Thanks for watching this video. To the mini nation from Norver Nation. I'm out. Peace.